<laughs> Alright, what was that? 9 millimeter and 22. Wow. Big Daddy Hawk my 1911 coming to you today. When I go out on range, I come in and I got a few bullets left in the box sometimes. I just take them and drop them in these jars right here. And they're building up all kind of calibers and everything. <laughs> but I think I have a solution to this problem. Let's go take a look at it. So if you look on the side of the box there, it's the M6 combination folding shotgun rifle uh, with the Excalibur 12 gauge adapter sets. So you can buy all this independently, the M6 shotgun slash rifle or the, uh, the, the adapters, or you can buy it all together. And that's what we've got here. So for that, for that problem that you have, rather than buying more glasses, let's just get a rifle in here that can shoot all of that stuff, right? Yeah, I'm out of glasses. Yeah. Except my bullets. <laughs> This would be perfect for the uh, zombie apocalypse. Uh, so first I'll show you the, the uh, shotgun slash rifle. It doesn't come paracord wrapped like that. We did that. It's just it's, it's going to come with a bare barrel on there. And uh, so we wrapped it with some paracord. Uh, found a really cool video on, U on YouTube to help with that. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you. I'll send a, put, you, put a link in the description. Uh, that took some time. Yeah, not, not as much as you'd think. Uh, but it's a pretty heavy, hefty little thing. Uh, you got some rails on each side, so you could have a flashlight on there, an optic. Um, you got a fiber optic front sight. So it's 12 gauge on the top and 22 long rifle on the bottom. Okay, open it up again. There you go. There we go, we got a picture there. Yeah. Okay. All right, so what if you want to change? What is, what do you do? Okay. Uh, so we've got these adapters here that come with this system and like I said you can buy these separately and, uh, we've got 44 45 uh, 410 and uh, 45 long cold this one's rifled can you see in there yeah okay uh, 20 gauge uh, 380 ACP 9 millimeter 357 58 and 40 cal and all you do is uh, you take them out and they're seven inches long, so you're going to get some better ballistics than you would out of even the larger of the semi-automatic uh, uh, handguns. So yeah. ballistically, it's going to be really good. Uh, and you just pop it open, and you stick it right into the barrel, just like that. And it's cut out there so you can pull out the, the spent round uh, with your fingernail or something like that. And so there we go, 40, 40. Let's see if we can find a 40 bullet over here in the, in the pile. Yeah. Let's see. There's 45. A lot of 45. How about I just... Uh, oh, you got some 40 in there. Where? That's 10 millimeter. I'm just going to grab the 45. How's that? That'd be good. I know I got 40 in here. There you go. So there's the 45. Okay. It's got a little O-ring on there to kind of keep it in there. Drop the barrel in there. Well, that's a quick change right yeah. there. Yeah. Bam. <laughs> All right, so now we got 45 and 22, right? Yep. There's no adapter for the 22. Right. Uh, you got you do have two triggers. The front trigger is for the shotgun and the uh, back one is for the 22. Okay. So front for the top barrel. Yeah. Okay. Pretty simple. Also, in here, uh, take that out. You've got a couple spots for uh, 22 rounds in there, a couple for 12 gauge, and then inside this last one is going to be a, a little cleaning kit. There's a little boar snake in there, and this does come with the, uh, the, the, with the shotgun slash rifle. Yeah. So that's cool. Boar snakes are... That's cool. Yeah. So this is supposed to be the perfect... Survival or zombie gun, right? Yeah. Uh, S Springfield had the M6 survival rifle or shotgun, sla the 410-22 that the, the uh, Air Force used to use for their pilots. Uh, but they stopped making that in 2008. And I always thought that was the coolest shotgun. Uh, but I didn't think that the 410 was that, uh, that useful. Yeah. So this 12-gauge 22, I think that's really the perfect combination. And then you add these 
pistol tubes on there and really you do have the ultimate survival weapon yeah okay guys get on the table out here on this beautiful sunny windy North Carolina day so I get a little wind noise in this video but here we go what we're we gonna shoot first buddy all right, I guess we start out with uh, what it's chambered for, 12 gauge and 22. Now this stuff's real cool. If you guys haven't seen the CCI uh, Quiet, it's going to give a little punch, um, but it's going to be quiet. You don't even need hearing protection for it. Perfect okay. in something like that. All right. Here we go. Let's rock and roll. So there's your safety. Where? Right here. Fire, right. fires forward, and we got a graduated uh, rear sight here, windage, elevation, all that good stuff, all um, at your fingertips. Adjustable. Yep. All right, here we go. 12 gauge. And over on the, the first popper on the right hand side. Okay. 22. <laughs> okay, so it has a uh, an extractor there. We got our 12 gauge and our 22. It's pretty cool. Very cool. Your turn. Okay. All right, we'll go 12 gauge first. <laughs> I love it. Here you go, 22. Did I shoot it? <laughs> you can barely hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that something? That is pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Look at that. Smoking. That is nice. All right. Let's put something else in it. All right. All right. These are the calibers that I found in the little uh, ammo pile here. So it's just going to grab the 380, the 9 millimeter, 357. 410, uh, 45, and 40, and let's go shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. There is a little molly pack on the back, so you could put that, you know, you could strap that on your backpack or whatever, but, uh, or your belt maybe. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm just going to pull these randomly out of my back pocket, and 45 is first. And right there. Man, this is a good way to get rid of this loose ammo, isn't it? <laughs> It'd take us all day. We're just yeah. going to lay these into the rubber dummy. Okay. Let's see what we got here. There we go. Ooh. He felt that one. Yeah, he did. Okay. Now. All right. So I got to get rid of this one. All right. And I can't believe how easy it is. Oh, that is nine millimeter. Nine millimeter. A little blazer action. Okay. All right. And you don't have to worry about your ammo cycling this either. No, it either go, it either goes bang or it doesn't. <laughs> What's All right. Next. Uh, three eighty. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice one. Spear? That's a, that? yeah. yeah, that's a hollow point. So. Sacrifice. Yeah, I'm going to sacrifice one. Okay. This is a fun experiment. It is. I'm, I never know what you're going to pull out of your pocket. <laughs> uh, 357. So this one will shoot 357 or 38. And uh, Big Daddy's. He carries a 357 uh, Ruger LCR mm -hmm. many days, so that's what we got here. And that's a Hornady Critical Defense. Let's All try right. one of those bowling pins. Sweet. That was nice, but I didn't even film the bowling pin. You have to do that again. <laughs> I gotta grab another one, huh? Okay. What I part got, did you get? I got more ammo. Yeah, okay. We're not food. No. We've only just begun. All right, what's coming down here? 40. Okay. There we go. Uh, that's, that's 10 millimeter. Yeah. Guess we're not shooting the 40. I think that's all right. Let's yeah. Shoot something else. 
and uh, there's the 410 bore. It is uh, rifled, and we can shoot the uh, 45 Long Colt and the uh, 410 out of it. So let's shoot the Long okay. Colt first. All right, what are we going to shoot? Uh, how about the bowling pin? All right, I'm going to zoom in this you can't time. See that. All right. Cool deal. Okay. And uh, 410. I think that's buckshot. All right. That's a three inch. Uh -huh. And it does fit. Okay. So we're going to shoot it. Rubber yeah. dummy. Rubber dummy. Sweet. Let's go see what kind of damage we did to the uh, zombie rubber dummy. Yeah. That that hair replacement system is really working for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how much that cost him. Sweet. Nice. All right, guys, you got to see the Kiapa M6 survival rifle in action. That's the first time for me. Um, I, I really like it, to tell you the truth. I was a little bit worried about the uh, kick on the 12 gauge, you know, but it was very uh, comfortable. It wasn't. It didn't hurt my shoulder. How no, about you, buddy? Not too bad. Uh, that's a that's a high density foam right there. I wondered when I saw the pictures of it, but uh -huh. it's, you know, it's not going to flake off or anything like that. It's really high density. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was cool. And uh, it's a very, very unique set. And what, what are the sets called? That's the X caliber uh, pistol caliber uh, conversions, 12 gauge. They actually, they actually sell those with 20 gauge as well. Uh, and they come in a pack of uh, four, I believe. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. Uh, please check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And uh, if you want to support the channel, uh, check out hoppinfirearms.com. You can check out the rubber dummies there and a bunch of other cool stuff. So keep up the fight against gun control, guys. Always support the NRA. And remember, Big Daddy loves you. Hoorah. Take care, guys. God bless you all. Hey guys, I got Pat, my buddy, my zombie slayer, back out on the range today. Pat, you've been killing a lot of zombies? Yo, sure have. <laughs> I hear you. Not too many around anymore. I'll tell you. I, I got, got I got one back here that's been giving me a fit. You think you could take him out for me? Well, I think so. I get a shell like this, put it in here like this. And while I'm walking in the woods, they, they, they come up to me and I'll shoot the zombie in the woods. All right, well, how about killing him for me, okay? Okay, I'm gonna put one right between his eyes. <laughs> I hear you, buddy. Okay, here we go. I just hope I don't miss. <laughs> right dead center of the nose. You no more it. zombie. <laughs> Good job. You're a zombie slayer, Pat. Yeah, I'll get them all. Hey, you're becoming a regular here. Oh, yeah. I really like the woods. Uh, nice area. I enjoy having you on the range, sir. Thank you for having me. Let's go find some more zombies. <laughs>